uh, in the years to uh, follow. The conference uh, which we host today and tomorrow is addressing the two main challenges the world is facing today and that is uh, poverty and uh, climate change. And as I mentioned during my or in my speech, uh, there is no way we can choose between either energy or uh, environment. We, ha we have to find ways of reconciling, of combining the huge need for increased energy production and consumption with the need uh, uh, for reduced emissions. That's a very <coughs> daunting task, but it is uh, possible. And uh, one of the key answers to how to reconcile the need for more energy with the need for reduced emissions is energy efficiency and renewable energy. And that's uh, the uh, task or the item of this conference, and it is the uh, purpose of the Energy Plus Partnership. <coughs> Through the Energy Plus Partnership, we uh, establish a partnership between different countries, different organizations, with the aim of uh, creating a framework for promoting uh, clean energy, for promoting <coughs> energy efficiency, and for mobilizing both public and private financing. I would very much like to underline that we need a framework, a legal framework, uh, incentives, uh, tax uh, framework, a level playing ground to uh, around or, or surrounding uh, energy investments. If we, if we are able to establish such a framework, we will also be able to mobilize investments in the energy uh, sector. And, they, uh, 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 and, they, and then we can also mobilize private uh, funds because actually to invest in the energy sector uh, can be very profitable uh, if we are able to create uh, a good, uh, predictable level uh, playing field which we need in this uh, sector. Uh, the Energy Plus is also uh, in many ways a follow-up of the uh, recommendations from the high-level advisory group uh, of, uh, on, on climate financing, which the Secretary General of the UN established uh, uh, some years ago, and which I had the honor of co-chairing together with Prime Minister Melis of Ethiopia. Uh, the aim is, as I said in my speech, is to mobilize 100 billion US dollars for climate actions in the developing uh, world. Uh, that's, uh, uh, we will not be able to reduce global emissions without climate actions uh, in the developing world. We will not be able to have climate actions in the developing world without uh, funding. And therefore, the, the 100 billion is key. Without those uh, funds, we will not be able to reach our targets when it comes to climate change. And therefore, uh, this Energy Plus is a way of following up, trying to implement the ideas uh, of creating or, or, or establishing the right incentives, mobilizing both, both public and, 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 uh, and private funds for, uh, and for the energy uh, sector. Uh, I will um, just end by uh, saying or giving you one example of the magnitude of what we are uh, facing. Uh, uh, the the intergovernment climate panel uh, uh, the experts have told us that we have to reduce emissions uh, by 50% from 1990 to 2050. Uh, so the goal is to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases by 50% from 1990 to 2050. In the same period, we expect global population to increase by 50% from around uh, 6 billion to around 9 billion uh, uh, people. So we have to reduce emissions by 50%. Uh, at the same time, we expect population to grow by 50%. And the people that are going to live in the world in 2050, they should all be richer, uh, have a more uh, decent life than uh, the majority of the people have today. And uh, therefore, it just underlines the huge need for more energy, but also it underlines the need for developing new technology, clean energy, uh, to be able to uh, combine this increased population, increased energy use with uh, reduced uh, emissions.
So uh, I'm very grateful, Secretary General, that you are here together with us today. It just underlines the very strong personal engagement, the personal leadership you have shown in both development and energy issues and, uh, and climate change. And I welcome you and give the floor to you.